So when was the last time you spoke to Ivy? The last time me and her communicated was Saturday late at night. Me and her were sending Snapchat pictures to each other. And then I sent her one of her dog and closer to midnight. She's like, Mom, you're past your bedtime. You had to go to bed. And then I got a message the next morning, Sunday morning, that was from her phone, but I don't believe it was from her anymore, saying that they were going to McAllister and that she would be home later. We think Jesse wrote that one. That one. Why? And it probably had already happened by that point. Because the way Ivy is, she's, she's my best friend. And she is constantly, Mom, I love you. OK, Mom, we're, we're going to go to eat. OK, Mom, we're done eating. We're going to go do this now. She's very, very, she lets me know everything. And this message was just kind of like, hey, we're going to McAllister. Uh, I'll see you around 5. And I said, OK, well, you know, like, let me know if you can come home soon or earlier. You know, it's a school night. OK. It was just different, but I also didn't think anything of it because it just kind of sounded like they were maybe we're in a hurry. Um, and then I got a call from Jesse around five something. And I've never received a call from Jesse before. I've spoke to Holly. I've spoke to all the other kids, but never from Jesse. And he told me basically they were out in McAllister. They weren't getting good service and that he had to walk far enough as it was just to get that little bit of communication, which we know that they never made it to the ranch. And I believe at that point, the kids were already gone. I know that you must be feeling so angry that you had no idea what his background was, that people should have Very known. So. Would you ever have sent your daughter yeah. And to his house, had you known? No. No. No, not at all. Never in a million years. 